do, man. But see, man. A nigga, a nigga like, like me, me, man. I love the game. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. I love that shit. You feeling like one of them ball playing niggas, you know? Facts. Like bird, magic, or something. Mm hmm. Talk to him. Yeah, you know a nigga got dope. Yeah, I got hoes. Nigga could leave the league. I could leave him. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man. Them hoes still gonna love me, bro. Hey yo, what's cracking, man? Y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. Y'all already know the drill. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that other shit. But uh, it's your young niggas, Dr. Seiko Suave, the only nigga you know with a PhD in hoology and asthmatology. Talk to me nice. Now, I'm here with a Bro Talks EP four for four. This Bro Talks is how to keep them hoes in check, how to learn the game. Cause bro, with these hoes, it's a game. I, like I said, bro, I love the game. But with this game comes a lot of skill. And as me being your coach, I'ma get you right. I say I'ma get you right, I, I got you. And if we talking about my level of, of skill, nigga, I'm comp. Nah, fuck that. Nigga, I'm an E-League player. I'm professional with this shit. Just listen to what I gotta tell you. And I even got some receipts in here, some proof. Let's get into this shit. Gang. All right, bro. So the first tip I got for y'all, this episode is going to be basically on shit that I forgot to tell y'all. And this is like how to hold your practice. I told y'all niggas, y'all have to have a roster. When I say y'all got to have a roster, you got to have a rotation, a lineup. So you got to have like, you know, certain bitches that you fuck with that get better treatment than the other ones. And then you got to have some that you like, you know, practicing. Like some bitches, they, they had his ass, but you might want to fuck them still. Some, you don't want to fuck them at all, but they had his ass or they got some good ass top. If they got a good top, hold on to them bitches because they'll just suck your dick. If their head is ass and you're not trying to fuck, cut that hoe. I'll cancel that bitch like Nino, all right? So look, this is what I'm finna help y'all niggas with. First thing I want y'all to do is because you still got to talk to these hoes, bruh. Even if you, I'm going to tell y'all niggas to go on Tinder and uh, POF and shit. Because, you know, if you get bored, I mean, I mean, it's bitches everywhere. So like, say if you get on Tinder or some shit. You can find a bitch that you never saw before. You can, like, it's some freaky ass hoes on Tinder. Like, on these online sites, bro, it's some freaky ass hoes. And what I like to do is, I like to troll on there. So, I'll get on that bitch, and, like, late at night, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, if I'm bored. You know, I got hella matches and shit on there. So, I'll get on that bitch, and I'll, like, talk to the matches, and I'll be like, I'll be like, look, you trying to eat my ass? Like, bro, I wouldn't I wouldn't let a bitch eat my ass, but, you know, I'm just trolling. I just want to see what they'll say. Bro, use Tinder and POF to your advantage. Use that shit to troll. Use that shit to uh, learn new approaches to bitches. You know, like, just try shit out on them. Because, like, even if you don't want to fuck with them, like, just try some shit to see what they'll say. And you never know. You might get a bad bitch who's, like, really a freak down low. Like, I found a bitch, bro. She is a freak. Like, this bitch... I'm going to get into that later. But look, bro. You want to you wanna learn how to approach your, these hoes, all right? Like I told you, bro. You got to practice on your approach. You can't be scared. You gotta have the mentality to where if she curves you is fuck her, that's her loss. Or you gotta have the mentality to where maybe she just wasn't for me. Like maybe she, I'm too good. Like I ain't gonna say how you too good for, but like like I said, it's just her loss. I mean every every girl not cut for you, so just gotta look at it like that. You might bag a bat a batter bitch later on in the night or the next day or later on in the week. You never know. I also like to say fuck these hoes. We ball. Fuck them. Now when you texting the girl. Make sure you hit her with that freaky text message once in a while. I don't say text a girl all day, but say if you don't feel like FaceTime, you know, you, it's later, it's after dark. After dark is like 12 o'clock, after 12 o'clock and shit. So after dark, you texting her and shit, right? And it's kind of getting dry. Hit her with that freaky text. So say like, if you talking to a girl and she be like, what you doing? Be like, oh, I'm trying to get something to eat or some shit. Like I'm trying, I'm looking for something to eat or I'm about to eat. She gonna be like, most likely she gonna be like, what you about to eat or like some shit. Yeah, she gonna be like, what you gonna eat? And be like, I'm trying to eat on you. Some shit like, bruh, some shit like that, bro. Just to see what she's gonna say. Like, this is how you gonna know if she's really with that freak shit. She either gonna turn you down. I mean, she either gonna like play it off like, oh boy, you so funny. Or she, she gonna go with the flow or she just not gonna fuck with. She might not even respond. But fuck these hoes, we ball, bro. Don't, it don't matter, bro. It's a billion hoes out here. Just live, bro. Just say what's on your mind, bro. These hoes don't like no beat around the bush ass nigga. Just be direct with them, bro. Cause you're saving both you and her time. Now, I told y'all niggas to practice y'all approaches. I also need y'all niggas to work on your confidence, bro. Like I cannot stress this enough. You can be the best. I don't care if you look like fucking Michael B. Jordan or Chris Brown. If you got no confidence, bro, you're not bagging any bitches. 
it's why you think it's some niggas out here that's ugly as shit, but they be getting hoes because they got confidence. I mean, they probably can't be on Tinder because they're not passing that eye test because that's all Tinder is. And like them online sites, that's all eye tests. So like if you ugly as fuck, don't even try to do it, bro. If you decent looking, like you can take some pictures, you got like a little drip, get on there. And then like you can like, you know, link up with the bitch and shit. Now, I need to, I need y'all niggas to know y'all have to fuck with bitches that got a car or you got a car. If you don't drive, you got to fuck with a bitch that drive. Because what you going to do, ride your bike, nigga, you going to catch an Uber? I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, but shit, like, bruh, if you get your own car, she got her own car, bruh, you know how convenient it will be? It'll be so convenient, bro. Also, I'm about to talk on this shit right here real quick. Tinder and POF. You got these little online dating apps or whatever. I like Tinder and POF. POF is plenty of fish. Uh, don't think I be on here looking for, you know, bitches to, like, you know, get in a relationship with. No, I don't, bro. I be looking on here for bitches that's gonna, you know, like, that's, that's just gonna entertain me for, like, the time being. Or if I'm really trying to get some top, I'll go on Tinder if, like, my other hoes, they not hit me back up. Now, this is what I do, bro. I got some good pictures on there. I got my bio, and my bio is like, uh, can you, can you keep up with my fast and exotic lifestyle? Uh, I got hella matches and messages on here, so if I don't respond, that's why. And then I got my snap below. Some shit like that. So look, this is what I'll say. If this girl, now look, I'm about to put y'all niggas like with some shit to say. If you get on this shit and you don't know what to say to a girl, this is what you say. All right, so it's three things I'll say. If this girl is thick, I'm gonna be like, damn. Okay, so say, I live in North Carolina right now. So they got this shit called cookout. So like, cookout, they got thick ass milkshakes. So if, say if you live in like California and now, I think they got thick ass milkshakes too. If you live in Cali or some shit, basically someone they got thick ass milkshakes. Be like, damn, bitch, you thicker than a cookout milkshake or some shit because she thick as fuck. Bro, it's corny, but I, I don't care, bro. I copy and paste the same message. Then I'll say some shit like, I'm trying to smash. Or I'll come out and be like, yo, you trying to suck my dick. Bro, because I don't give a fuck, bro. And then there's some bitches, they're going to turn you down. And then there's some bitches, you know, it, it is what it is. Every girl is different now. It's just how you move with the situation. Now, if the girl, she with it, you got to keep playing. Like, you got to keep, you know, going with the flow. But don't talk freaky the whole damn day, bro. Don't be over here sexting these bitches. You want to make an appointment. You want to be like, when you available? So you can get the top. Because, nigga, we not finna sit here and sex bitches all day, bro. We in, we in the in and out mission. I need to know if you trying to suck my dick. I'm going to put you in for our appointment, and we're going to see if the head is really fine. Like, we're going to see if the top is right. Can you make my toes curl? Now, if you're not with the shit, okay, that's cool. You can block me, or I'm just not going to talk to you. Now, look. Tinder. These bitches be like, bro, I'm telling you right now. Some of these bitches, they're going to be like, you ugly as shit, bro. It's okay. They just trying to, you know, shatter your confidence. Fuck these hoes, bro. You the sexiest nigga on this planet, bro. You got to tell yourself that. You just, like, the babies, they be like, I'm the sexiest chocolate nigga in this world. Some shit like that, bro. You got to have that confidence. Now, when you meet up with these bitches, make sure you got your deep voice on you talking from your chest. What I like to do is, because I, I live by myself. I got my own apartment. So, I'll tell them hoes to pull up. And, uh, they think they're think they finna come inside. It's two reasons why I don't let these bitches come inside. Three reasons. I don't want it. I don't, these bitches, I don't know these hoes, so they can rob me. Two, I don't want her to know where I live. Like, I don't. I don't want these bitches to know where I live. Like, they can be in my complex, but, like, I live in an apartment complex. So, they're not going to know which apartment I'm in. Like, you're going to knock on every fucking door, bitch. I could be on the fourth floor for all, all you know. But, uh, and the third reason, you got to, like, meet up. Like, what I do is I'll meet up with them first. And, like, I'll see, like, they clean and shit. Like, because I'm not going to just be letting these hoes suck my dick and, like, you know, fucking bitches if they dirty. Because, like, nigga, you don't want to get no STD or some shit. Like, come on, bro. Don't be reckless out here. Be smart. But, like, I got good judgment. I know when the bitch is dirty or not. But, uh, it's some other shit too so we you know that's the tinder use them dating apps strictly for you know getting top fucking bitches and maybe they can make it to the rotation maybe they got their own lineup to where it's bitches that just suck some bitches gonna want you to eat them out we're not eating these bitches out bro we're not doing that shit the all we do is we might finger them but that's all we doing if she if you're not fucking her you might finger her if you're not fingering her or fucking her, we just getting top. Because it's not about these hoes. It's about us. You got to have the mentality. It's fuck these bitches. I only care about myself. I just got some top the other day from a white girl. And I nutted all in that bitch mouth, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't know if she liked it or not. But it was. she didn't say anything bad. But, like, I didn't tell her because I don't give a fuck. I'm going to get my nut and now I'm going to go. So, what I do is I come outside, right? I, she be like, all right, I'm outside. I'm about, like, you going to, like, come in with me? So, I be like, my little sister here. Nigga, my little sister live all the way in Jersey. So I'll be like, my little sister, I'm watching my little sister. You know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. So I'm going to just come outside and we could just chill in your car. So she'll be like, oh, all right, cool. 
So nigga, what I do is I already know the type of nigga I am. If I get around a girl and it's just me and her and like we just chilling this shit, I already know I'ma get I'm I know how I am, so I know I can bag the bitch. So I already know how to like, you know, talk my way into shit, I know how to seduce the bitch, all that shit, you know. The shit I be telling y'all niggas, that shit works. And uh That's what I do, my nigga. She suck she got she give me top in the car. I fucked the bitch in the car before too, so hey. Let these, you know, you do that shit outside, but I do that shit at nighttime because I don't, you know, I don't want people walking by and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want, and then if I really fuck the bitch, like, say if it's like, it's only been like two girls that I actually let come in my crib that I met, like, off of Tinder, or, like, and I met, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that I met, like, like on Tinder or some shit. I only let them come in my crib, like, if I really, like, know them, like, I feel them out. Because, you know, nigga not trying to get robbed, like, I ain't, I ain't got no strap yet. But, uh, you know, bro, you gotta be careful with these hoes at the same time. So enough of Tinder. I don't told y'all about Tinder. Even if you, even if you like 17, 16, I'll say get on that shit. If you a dude, if you got a baby face, don't do it. If you look like you got facial hair and shit, like you could pull it off, you could bag, bag some older bitches, go for it. Now you gotta be, you gotta like with these. If you younger, you gotta put in extra work. You gotta be a little bit, you gotta be a little bit smooth. You gotta be, you, gotta, you know, you gotta move that mouth a little bit more. You gotta be real slick with it, because some of these bitches they gonna be like, oh, you ain't shit, you ain't got no car, blah blah blah. You you underage, bro. If you got that game, she not gonna give a fuck, bro. Like I say, don't, don't, if she don't ask your age, don't tell her, cause don't tell her if she don't ask. I mean, it's different if you a girl, but with with niggas, bro, it don't really matter, cause we not the ones, you know, going around saying, oh, she raped me, oh, you know that shit like that. But don't be out here like. 14 years old fucking with these older don't do that bro that's corny but uh, what else i got for y'all niggas i got notes down for y'all this time now after this you might get in your feelings with these hoes and you know what i'm saying you might you know might want to settle down she done told she done you know she told you what you want to hear you don't let a bitch tell you what you want to hear like i always let a bitch i always tell a bitch what she want to hear so it's one girl that i was fucking with she wanted to be in a relationship so bad i don't want to be in a relationship so you know she Oh, it seems like you just want to be friends. I'm like, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm looking for a relationship, but I'm just, I'm not closed out to a relationship, but you know, I'm just looking for the right one because I bring a lot to the table. I was, I'm just looking for the right one. So now she feeling a little bit easy and shit, you know. Oh my God, I might be the right one. Bitch, no, because I'm not looking for shit. I just want my dick sucked, you know. I want, I want pussy, you know, shit like that. I want the top, you know. I just want topping, I just want topping money. That's it. I'm, I'm on my purpose, you know. You got to be on your purpose, purpose at the same time. And, uh... Just stay on your bag, cause these hoes they will distract you. Now, if you get your hoes, if you get your feelings with these bitches, bro, you gotta go back to that first video on how to deal with a heartbreak. Cause if you honestly let the bitch let you get your heartbreak, that's cause you wasn't on your purpose. If you get a heartbreak, that's cause you was cheating on your purpose anyway. Because all these bitches are side hoes. Because the main relationship you're in is with your purpose, what you're grinding for. Keep that in mind. That's you put that shit before everything else. And I also want to tell y'all niggas, I like I told y'all, don't believe what these bitches say because all these bitches lie. They all lie. Like they could be, they can be telling. They they swear that they can swear to God they're telling the truth, and I'll still be like, this bitch is lying, bro. These hoes lie. So you also need don't don't rely on people. Like you don't want to be a needy ass nigga, bro. You want to get shit done on your, by yourself. You want to know, be a lone wolf. And, and when you're not like, you want to work on yourself as well. You want to make yourself the best person possible. You always want to work on your self improvement. So that's the advice I got for you. Uh. And then, like I said, you might think you found the right one, but no, nigga, you did it. You met this bitch off of Tinder, bro. You met her off of the soul intent that you was gonna let her suck your dick and you was gonna fuck, and that you was gonna get like some freaky shit out of her. You don't. I I wouldn't say now if you really feeling her brand, like you really feel that shit. I'll say try it out, but bro, you're in your prime right now. You don't want to be in a relationship. You don't want to be held down. My mom always told me when I was a, a young nigga. Don't get tied down to a girlfriend. Don't be tied down to one girl when you're so young. She was like, just have a lot of female friends. And I always was like, nigga, why is she saying that? Like, I want a girlfriend. And then I got older. I was like, damn, I do like a lot. You know, I like talking to multiple girls. I don't want to just be down to one girl. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'll say, don't do that relationship shit, shit. Like, if you really, I'll say start a relationship with like your junior year. I mean, your senior year in high school. Or like you going into college or some shit. But other than that, I don't really recommend it. Like, if you're going into college and you're in a relationship, don't do it, bro, because y'all going to be far away if y'all not going to the same school. It's not really worth it. And then there's going to be other bitches tempta uh, tempting you and shit. You don't want to be no, labeled no cheater, bro. Then, if you fucking, you ever talk to a girl like the convo is, the, like the convo just dry, and you really don't want to talk to this bitch, I know, we all been there. So this is what I do. It was one time I was talking to this girl, Brian, and this conversation wasn't going nowhere. So I was like, all right, I'm about to just delete this bitch number. But before I delete the number, I always ask a question. I'd be like, look, you trying to suck my dick? I swear to God. 
Now she say no. Okay, cool for you. I was finna delete your number. I wasn't even gonna delete it. I just wasn't finna talk to you no more. She said yes. All right, let's set this appointment up, baby. Let, let me let me see what you working with. Cause if if the shit ass, you getting canceled like Nino. I swear, I'ma cancel you like Nino. Now if the shit fire, you gonna have to get into that rotation. That's what I gotta say for the conversation not going nowhere. Cut that bitch off, bro. Like hit her with that. You trying to suck my dick? You trying to fuck? Like I always go for getting some top because I like top, bro. I don't really be trying to fuck these hoes. I only because I my my thing is I like having a nice trophy case, bro. I don't like fucking ugly bitches. You know what I'm saying? I like what what's the point of your trophy case? Imagine if LeBron imagine if Michael Jordan had all them championships, but they were Pee Wee trophies, little league uh, championships. They don't got no value, my nigga. He got professional championships. You know what I'm saying? So you want to have a, a, a pretty, a pretty nice trophy case. And then this is what I learned from a famous pimp named Iceberg Slim. He said Turn that pussy down. Keep your dick out of these hoes. Now, this is for my niggas that's advanced, that's already got the game down packed. You want to, you know, turn the pussy down sometimes. You got a bitch coming over, and, you know, she want to, you know, she think you want to fuck. Be, hit her with that. I'm tired, oh. What else? I'm not trying to fuck. See what else she could bring to the table, bro. Now, that's if you're advanced. If you're a young nigga, you just getting into this shit. Don't do that shit, bro, because you're going to be feeding over pussy. Now, if you got enough pussy, hit her with that. I'm not trying to fuck. Or hit her with that. I'm tired. Like, cause she gonna be like, oh, this nigga want his pussy. Now you actually turn the pussy down. It's like, damn, what, what else can I do? What else can I provide to this nigga? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, try that shit out once in a while. And then I'll, and I, th and I think the last term, the last tip I got for y'all niggas is to meditate. Now, balancing all these hoes can be pretty stressful. You know, conducting these practices and testing these bitches. Test every girl. I'm not even like, so yeah, you know, get you, you know, go to the clinic, check yourself. But when I say test, I mean mentally test these bitches. I test every girl I mess with in any way possible, whether that's me changing the way I act, my feelings towards her, just to see where her head at, because, you know, I'm a, you know, I like to see where bitches' heads be at, and that's how I really find out if you really like the, the like, the right one, like, I'll test you, and if you do me dirty, then I just won't fuck with you, and I just won't trust you no more, and then there's some of them, they pass it, so then I'll, you know, I'll let them breathe for a little bit, and then I'll test them again, no, I always, te I'm always testing people, just to see, you know, because, nigga, I don't trust nobody, really, like, my trust is really, I'm not just saying that shit, but, like, my trust really do be fucked up, so I like to test these bitches, I test everybody, not just these hoes. And then, like I told y'all niggas, make sure you meditate. Balancing these hoes and these bitches can be pretty difficult. So you always want to keep a clean mind, a clean slate in your brain. And you're spiritually and inside of you. So you want to meditate. And uh, look up videos. I don't... I'll, look up the meditation video. I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this shit. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment gang gang. Next video, I'm going to help y'all niggas lose, lose y'all virginity. Gang.